Hello developers, girls and guys, now we're gonna talk about TCP states. Ready? Unlike UDP, TCP is a stateful protocol, which means it keeps track of states. TCP states are the different stages of a TCP connection. Each state has a specific purpose and is used to ensure that the connection is established and maintained properly. Now let's talk about the various states a TCP connection goes through, on the client's side and the server side. Initially, we have the closed state, where no TCP connection exists. This is the initial state of a TCP connection. At this stage, obviously no data can be sent or received, since TCP requires to establish a connection in order to exchange data. Meanwhile, the server will be listening. In the listen state, the server is waiting for a connection request from a client. This state occurs when the server socket is created and set to listen for incoming connection requests. Now let's say the client wants to connect. In the SYN sent state, the client sends a SYN segment to the server to initiate a connection. The client is waiting for a SYN ACK segment from the server. In the SYN received state, the server receives the SYN segment from the client and sends a SYN ACK segment in response. The server is waiting for an ACK segment from the client. After the client receives the SYN ACK, it will send an ACK packet to the server, which will finalize the handshake. In the established state, the TCP connection is established, and data can be exchanged between the two hosts. Both the client and server can send and receive data in this state. This three-way handshake has been covered with our previous handshake video. Now suppose one of the two sides, for example the client, wants to close the connection. Now let's talk about the states when closing a connection. In the fin wait one state, the client sends a finish segment to the server to request the termination of the connection. The client is waiting for an ACK segment from the server. In the close wait state, the server has received the fin segment from the client and sent an ACK segment in response. The server will also send a fin segment from its side. After that, the server goes into a state called the last ACK state, where the server is waiting for an ACK segment from the client before closing the connection. In the fin wait 2 state, the client has received the ACK segment from the server, indicating that the server has received the fin segment. The client is waiting for a fin segment from the server. After receiving the fin, the client will send back an ACK and go into a state called the time wait state. In the time wait state, the client waits for 1 to 2 minutes to pass before closing the connection to make sure the server received the acknowledgement. After the server receives this last ACK from the client, it will close the connection. On the client side, the connection will close after those 1 to 2 minutes have passed. So that was our brief overview of the different states of a TCP connection. See you in our next video.